For millions of Americans, coffee is more than just a tasty way to start their day. It's their liquid fantasy. I have to have it. I would describe it as glorious. It's like a long lost friend. Beyond the taste, the energy boost, and the almost euphoric feeling you can get from it, there's another side to coffee that people tend to appreciate, even if they don't exactly know if it's really healthy for them. It's good for socializing, and it's good for people that enjoy coffee. I mean, as far as your health, everything pretty much is cancer today, so it's kind of hard to say whether it is or not. That's the point. It seems like Coffee Nation has been given mixed signals about whether coffee is good or bad for you. San Diego area nutritionist Tamara Renee explains. They've had studies that say that it tests to helping reducing the risk of some types of cancers. However, there's other studies that show how it encourages the risk of like stomach cancer, you know, leukemia, which is a pretty serious one. Tamara is right. Some studies indicate coffee may not increase the risk for high blood pressure. Others say caffeine could increase blood pressure and raise the risk of heart disease. According to a dietitian at the respected mayoclinic.com, it's reasonable to believe that coffee possesses little or no threat to healthy adults. Most credible resources we checked with say there is strong evidence that coffee can in fact reduce the risk of serious health issues, including diabetes, heart disease, and cirrhosis of the liver. Some researchers also say it can reduce the risk of breast, liver, and rectal cancers, Alzheimer's disease, and could help protect men, not women, from Parkinson's disease. But before you sprint down to your favorite coffee shop with that caffeinated gleam in your eye, keep in mind some studies still suggest the amount of caffeine in just a couple of cups of coffee a day can significantly decrease blood flow to the heart could increase blood pressure and again, possibly raise the risk of heart disease. Some research indicates coffee can even exaggerate stress during the course of your day. So what's a poor coffee drinker to think? Well, confusing studies aside, most everyone says, as with anything, moderation is the key. And how you react to coffee may be your best guide. Well, I'll tell you, Greg, if I could teach every person that I counsel to learn to listen to their body. That's the whole key. So if you take it and it makes you sweat, if it makes you have a weird body odor, if it puts a coating on your tongue, if it gives you a headache, that's an indication that for whatever reason, with your diet and lifestyle and coffee on top of that, it is not a good formula for you. If you take it in, it gives you a nice even boost. It gives you a little clarity and everything for some hours and a little slow die off. It's probably okay for you. Don't forget, not all coffee these days is created equal. There's a huge difference between plain black coffee, coffee with large amounts of sugar and cream, and your favorite latte of the month. Once you get past basic black coffee, depending on what you put in your favorite cup of joe, the calories and fat can really add up. And that is something all experts agree is not good for you.